Okay, so at the uh, Days in Stansted Airport tonight, and this is what you get for £53. This hotel has just been refurbished, uh, so let's go and have a look around. One thing I will say is, on, you get free parking on this car park, doesn't matter again what vehicle you're in. You also get uh, Tesla superchargers on the car park, so that's something you should look at. If you need to charge your car, this is definitely the place to stay, and it's right next to Stansted Airport. Okay, so when you stay in here, you can actually just stay at the Ramada as well on this same site. The Ramada is 20 quid dearer, and it's a lot more run down, so I wouldn't advise it. Okay, let's see what the room's like. So this is what you get. This hotel has just been refurbished, um, and this is £53 tonight. I think it's a steal for an airport hotel. Let's have a look around. So straight away we've got this uh, area to hang your clothes. We've got some of the unstealable hangers, and they've got clips on, so we can have all the sort of things on there too. I've also got some pillows in a bag, which is always great to see. So I know some have not slept on them. That's very good. Right, so straight away we've got a brand new bed. Nice big double or king size, I'm not sure. I think it's king size actually, yeah, king size. Uh, really decent quality. Normally, days in are really, really rough and just really dated, but I like it. Got a nice big headboard, uh, they've got a bedspread and the cushions. I've seen a few of these places when they do a refurb, it's a different coloured headboard and some cushions, and that's it. <laughs> um, but yeah, they've gone to town here, it looks nice. We've got Plug sockets um, at the back side of it, not plug sockets, sorry, USB sockets. So that's always a really good thing, especially now. M most people want to charge the phone right next to the bed. And you can do that here. Really good. Bedside lamps, they were off when I came in. It's just a little gripe of mine. But I went round and turned them on, that was not an issue one bit. So we've got a bit of an occasional chair. You can tell it's brand new. Not Hardly anyone to uh, use that one. There's no marks or rips or anything. we got a brand new... Great carpet, look at that. So it's a bit chilly in here, but there's a um, a radiator here on the wall. So just turn that on. This is exactly the same as what they're using Travel Lodge. Uh, just uh, adjust the temperature there. So we have got a massive window, really, really big window there. I don't expect a view at hotels like this, but we have got a mound outside. So at least it's not a motorway or a road. So I'm not going to get any noise from a hill, am I? I got nice big thick curtains too. Actually, really impressed with this place. I have stayed here before when it wasn't a refurbed hotel, and uh, it was very poor. But this is what you get. So we got a nice desk slash bag stand. Um, there's plenty of space to put a bag and have a bit of a desk as well. So I'm quite happy with that. We have got a bottle opener and a nice Samsung branded TV. So if it's not in hotel mode, hopefully I can connect to that. There's another chair down there, so I can sit down and do my uh, my laptop. And we've got a hair dryer at the bottom. I've not seen these like this before, so low down. So it's, it's not bad. There is this light here that you can control with the switch here. So you can do your makeup or whatever you need to do in the morning. But yeah, this is what it is. Let's have a look. Is the kettle clean tonight? Should be, because it's brand new. Look at that. And we've got Yorkshire Tea, Nescafe. So it's all branded. I don't like it when the cups are turned upside down. Oh, the right way up like this, it should be upside down really. So maybe that's just a little tip for them. So nothing gets inside of them, but they're certainly clean. Yeah, very impressed. So we've got another big mirror here, as you walk in. The whole of the hotel seems fresh and clean. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good. So we've got a big double shower with the mounted on the wall there. So we've got a wall mounted shower and we've also got a handheld one as well. Um, got a bath mat too. And they're really good fluffy towels. They're nice and soft. So I'm quite happy. All this is brand new. Um, yeah, they've done a decent job to be fair to them. 
I'm quite happy. I could tell this was just the standard design that they use from all, but it's functional. Why fix something that's not broke, I suppose? But this is all good, all new. The only negative with these hotels is this soap. They arrived prior to them having this, they had orange soap and it was really, really nice smelling. This stuff smells awful. It's uh, meant to be a luxury product and it's, uh, it smells like some sort of industrial cleaner, so definitely bring your own soap if you're staying here. But well, I do that anyway, so that's that. Only negative I can see from the bathroom is that. What the hell is that? That was clearly some sort of extractor fan that's fell off. But they've still got it, so I kind of like missed that, I don't know why. Um, and the shower head itself is not, not really the best, I wouldn't expect that from somewhere that's just been refurbed. I would have expected a new one really, but the rest of it, it's not too bad. Quite a lot of space in here. Nice big dual shower and a glass panel. But overall, I'd say this is good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you stay here and is it worth £53 tonight in an airport hotel? Let me know what you think. Okay, so it's the next morning now. I slept really good, brilliant bed. And it's really, really quiet in here. I didn't hear any road noise, which is great because I'm right next to the motorway. Uh, the heating system, brilliant. <laughs> in fact, it was a bit too hot, I had to turn it off. Um, the only gripe was the shower. So, although there was loads of pressure there, because that head was a bit old, spraying water everywhere, all over the floor. And there's quite a bit of pressure behind it, so it's actually hurting me to stand under it. Uh, I think really it just needs a bigger shower head and the issue would be solved. So yeah, just a new bigger shower head. That, that's it really. But for £53, I'd say it's okay, so that was the days in. So I just checked out and they've even given me a free newspaper. I've never heard of this one, but I didn't even know they still made newspapers. But yeah, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below.